All right, well, yesterday we spoke to a great man, CEO of the charity Little Wings. His name was Kevin Robinson. And uh, just the amount of work that these guys do, we are just transporting sick mm. kids out in regional places, tough to get to places, and transporting them to hospital where they need to be to get treatment. Kev does, he works long hours and long weeks, and uh, we thought we'd get someone on who's a benefactor of Little Wings, and that's Emma Coombs. Emma, welcome to the show, love. Thanks very much. Em, uh, firstly, Kev spoke to us yesterday, obviously, as Fitzy mentioned, and it was amazing to hear not only the help that Little Wings supplies to a sick child, but also the support that it brings to the family as well. Oh, the support. Like, it's just amazing. Um, and I think it's not just getting on the plane and, and saving six hours in the car. I mean, that's a, a pretty big part of it. But just, you know, the, the being there to, to pick you up from the the airport to take you to the play, you know, have, he'd help carry the bags and, yep. you know, just watch the kids and just just genuine, lovely people um, and always there for I mean, we shared, we shared quite a few tears and it's not just the flights, it's everything else. Um, well, t- talking about shedding a few tears, Em, um, you have had it pretty tough because um, tell us a little bit about your son, Pat. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional talking about no, it. Understandable. But, um, eh? Paddo was, when he was diagnosed, he was just a happy, you know, noisy four-year-old boy. So that's um, what you've got to look forward to, Whipper, just a noisy, noisy boy. So, <laughs> <Thanks, Emma. laughs> um, but, and he was so much fun. And then, you know, it came on him really quickly. He was running around one day and two days later he couldn't stand up. And we knew it was pretty bad because it happened so quickly. And, um, and yeah, he was diagnosed with a brain tumour at the end of July. Um, he turned five in... November and we lost him in January last year so but um yeah he was just just an amazing little boy and even during his treatment you know he's cracking jokes and I remember one day he said to the um he said to the anaesthetist it's not pediatric it's Petey Patrick you know and he's always (laughs) cracking jokes and just doing funny stuff and through all of it it's amazing that you can um you can still have a laugh and remember those special times yeah well we have to laugh you have to you can't laugh about it. Um, you know, it, it would go the other way and yeah. we really don't want to go down that path. So Pat has brothers and sisters, Em? Yeah, he's got an older sister, Olivia. Um, she's eight and we've just had a new little baby. Oh, uh, congratulations. Yeah, well done, thank Em. you. Yeah, her name's Alice and she was born at the end of October. Oh, so, fantastic. Yeah, she's a bit cheeky. I think she might be yeah, like a big brother. Does. So, <laughs> and, yeah. and what? And how's Olivia been? Yeah, she was... Um, she was pretty good initially, but she's been pretty sad the last few months. So yeah. it's, it's really tough, you know. It's it sort of, we've lost Pat and, and that's a big thing. But also, you know, you can see it affecting her too. And every time you look at her and she's playing on her own, it's bang, it hits you again that, mm. you know, he's gone. And the other night, I hadn't done it for quite a while, but I actually went into the kids' rooms to say goodnight to them. I walked into his room, you know, because it's just something that you do every night for the last five years. And, and you know, and I wasn't thinking. I just walked in there to say goodnight to him. And then it hits you again that he's not here. Mm. So that's well, pretty sobering. Yeah, your story has affected us. I think Little Wings and what they do is, well, there are so many great charities out there, but this one really has affected us. We mm. really want to get behind it. For anyone, littlewings.org.au, if you do want to donate. But Whipper and I, we told Kev yesterday we're joining the marketing team, and we want to raise awesome. some money for yeah, this great fantastic. charity. Fantastic. Well, we're, we're, ha- having, we're having a bike ride too, and I know Kevin's got one, so you guys can maybe get on the bike. bike. Oh, here we go. That way. I, look, I look good in Lyca, <laughs> Em. Don't worry about that. We're going to put our heads together and see what we can come up with, Em. But thank look, you so much for fantastic. sharing your story. And, and look, I can just say thank you to Little Wings and, and all of the people that volunteer their time there, you know, Pilot and Adrian and, and Kevin and, and mm. um, you know, it's just for them to give up their time to help people like us. It's incredible and we can't say thank you enough. Well done. Thanks, Em. Thanks, Em. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for coming so much, on the guys. show. Thank you.